Hello everyone and welcome again to our YouTube channel. My name is Daniel as usual from the Okema Empire and in our today's video we'll be discussing about why do people change once they move to the United States. So the moment you get your visa, you book your air ticket, then now you are traveling to the United States, many people will be having mixed reactions in their mind. There is that anxiety. Everyone in his mind or in her mind will be asking so many questions which some of them will not be having answers at that moment. People will be feeling or they will be having the anxiety. How will be life in the United States? How do the United States look like? What kind of work will I be doing in the United States? What kind of friends would you be making in the United States? What kind of schools, if you have kids, will they be going in the United States? Will they cope up with the, the lifestyle in the United States? And so many other questions that will be ringing in your mind. So, in, at the first time, when you land in the United States, because of that curiosity and, and anxiety, you will be the first thing that you will be doing is to get a phone and you call your people home and tell them that you arrived well. Then you keep on calling, getting in touch with your family, telling them how life is in the United States, today you have done this, tomorrow you have done, you will be doing this and the like. So life will continue for some time, like a week or two. But as time goes by, you start now facing the reality that you don't need to be in the house all time to make those calls using the Wi-Fi or free Wi-Fi in your hostess place. You need to go out and to set things roaring. You need to take kids to school. You need to find a job. You need to process so many other things that will enable you to get the job. You need to go for exams like driving tests get your license, and so many other things. So because of those and many other things that will crop up as time goes by, you get that now the number of calls you used to make home will go down. And other people in your country or in your relatives will start asking, oh, why? We used to talk every day. Now the frequency has gone down. What happened? So you'll be ready to tell them that you have started working you have started taking kids to school and so many other roles you are doing that's why also because of uh, different time zones you may get that when you are working here it's daytime it's night at your home country when it's daytime there it's night here when they will be calling you you will be at work when you want to call them they will be sleeping so those are some of the things that may make other people feel that you are neglecting them, you are ignoring them, you are not calling them, you are not picking their calls. So guys, my advice, when you get here, let people know that we live in a different or in different time zones. So you try to set you on how you will be communicating. Not those people in Africa, when they wake up, they just call, text, hoping that you will be on or they will be seeing you online not knowing that here wi-fi is all over and your phone may be on but you are sleeping so we advise you when you come here you make sure that let them know when you have free time that's the time you call them or when you said you time to talk to them so also people change because of the lifestyle here in America, everything moves so fast. Everyone here minds is or our own business. So we try, or you will always try to adapt such a kind of lifestyle, minding your own business. So you also start minding the same business when you'll be calling your people at home. You know that also these people, they have their life to live. It's not a must that I call them each and every hour, each and every day. So you try to strategize on how you catch up with your friends, 
and also family friends uh, and relatives. And then the other thing that may make for change here is because of work and study. Once you come here, you have to do one or two courses that will enable you to get a good job with a good pay. So in that case, you have to be busy. And being busy now and working at the same time, it means that now the frequency of getting back to the family members, friends will go down. So people will see because of that, that you have changed. And indeed, you may have not changed. It's only the, 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 the experience, the work and the studies that are making you being busy, not to reach them. So let them know that I'm now working and at the same time going to school so that they also understand that you are not ignoring them. The other thing that makes people change here is money. Maybe you used to have, uh, uh, you were working maybe in your country or you are not working and you have come here now, you got a lot of money. Because here, if you work in most of the companies or in workplaces, they pay after every two weeks. So after every two weeks, you have money in your pocket. So you feel that now you have reached home. You have reached where you wanted to go. So money makes people change their mind, change their attitude, and also change their personality. So it's my heart to you, friends. Let money not control you. Be the same person you used to be. If it's the relationship you had with your family, let it be positive. And keep in mind that friends will come and go, but relatives will always stay. So the other thing that makes other people change and change completely is drug abuse and drug misuse. So here, as I did, uh, I did tell you in my previous video that drugs are readily available in the United States. Alcohol is so cheap. So if you not be so careful when you come here, because of those things, drugs being cheap, alcohol is really available, you may end up engaging in them and they will destroy your life. If you consume a lot of alcohol, you may not be allowed to work, you may not be allowed to drive, and being out, not working, not driving to work, not doing this and that, your money will go down. And finally, the alcoholism and drug use will one day, one time take you to prison. And if you are imprisoned here, you take a lot of time, your records are destroyed, your, 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 your background information about you will also betray you. You will not get as many other jobs as before. So that's why we are always recommend that be careful with alcohol and uh, drug use, so that they don't destroy your good name and your background. So friends, those are some of the things that makes people think that you have changed or some of the things that make people change once they move to the United States. And there are so many other reasons and other things that make people change. But because of time and I will not be able to explore and exploit everything here, please take those. And if you have another query or a question about the same, put it forward and I will be able to talk about it in our next video. For those ones watching us for the first time, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, share our videos, encourage more friends to come on board and let's grow as a family. Thank you and may God bless you all.